Billions of consumers around the world are driving the wave behind digital transformation. We're fortunate because the era that we live in right now gives us access to information that we've never had before. That it also comes with a ton of misinformation that we have to weed out. The most powerful and compelling voice in commerce is always the consumers that are buying things. Anybody that tries to think otherwise is in, is in danger of bankrupting themselves. Prior to modern communication, word of mouth was the only way anybody knew anything. So if you go back to like when I was a kid and how brands would communicate, they'd communicate largely through television or through print or audio media. Brands got very good at communicating emotionally to make them feel like the product could solve their problem. The rise of digital commerce really kind of accelerated when people began to realize that the, the, the variety of choice that I could find online was so much broader and so much more comprehensive than any single physical store could present. The relationship between consumers and brands have significantly changed over the years to the point that consumers are now in the driver's seat. Today, consumers can sell things through businesses to other consumers. We're using some sort of marketplace. Increasingly, I can just reach consumers directly. All of this consumer to consumer connection allows just a very different approach to commerce and a very different approach to marketplaces than we've ever seen before. There's been a really big shift in people moving away from traditional channels because a lot of the time we spend now as a society is on platforms like social media and on streaming services, etc. So as a brand, as a business, you need to be able to reach people where they are. In the safari, animals all go to the waterholes. In shopping and in commerce, shoppers are waterholing around social media. For brands and retailers, this is where we ought to be. Let's talk about UGC. UGC stands for User Generated Content. That means literally everything under the sun, from ratings, reviews, images, videos, anything that the person comes and creates and posts about some sort of product in the world. Consumer voice now is what determines whether or not a brand lives or dies. For example, a major fast food chain can have a milkshake that becomes a fan favorite so much so that it lifts revenue year over year because it's such a big hit. Then on the other hand, you have another quick service restaurant brand that's seen its sales tank because people are realizing the portions that they're getting are minuscule compared to what they used to get. Anybody can have a voice about any topic that they want. What is created is the creator economy. So that rise of content creators, which I think really started in the 2010s, but that accelerated massively during COVID. Done really well, user-generated content allows the consumer to feel like they know the content creator is a human being. I've been making content since I was probably 12. This channel has actually gotten six subscribers in like the past day. So thank you viewers who are, have been regularly subscribing. Let's get into it. I'm of the generation that is native to social media, more or less. Content creators are not just the massive influencers of the world that have millions of followers. Almost every single person that posts on social media is a content creator. Creators as a whole have a responsibility to be authentic for their audiences. There's a really big need for brands to be authentic. They have to be thorough. They have to be creative. The creator economy has allowed for brands to leverage the authenticity, whereas before, it was whatever existed on brand channels, and that was it for the most part. For most of the 20th century, consumerism wasn't consumerism, it was corporatism. Large brands and large retailers had a disproportionate influence in what we were exposed to, what we thought, and what we bought. Our expectations as consumers are at an all-time high right now. Consumers are largely controlling the narrative. The future of consumerism is that it's going to put the consumer back in consumerism.